Okay, so we've got a ladder standing at horizontal ground leading against the vertical wall. So we have the ground, the wall, and a ladder uh, with a right angle right there. The length of the ladder is 4.5 meters, so 4.5. Uh, the distance between the bottom of the ladder and the base of the wall is 2.2, so 2.2 meters. So there's my picture. It says calculate the distance between the top of the ladder and the base of the wall. So step one wants that. That's a straight Pythagorean theorem problem. So a squared, b squared, c squared. Remember, this is the hypotenuse, which is this. So it's going to be 2.2 squared plus b squared equals 4.5 squared. And then we can do a little algebra here. So let's square 2.2 squared and 4.5 squared. So 20.25 and 4.84. So... 4.84 plus b squared equals 20.25. b squared equals 15.41. Square root to get rid of the squared. 3.925, so that's 3.93 to three significant figures. So there's the answer to that. Calculate the obtuse angle made by the ladder with the ground. So now it wants this angle. So they're just being a little evil with this question. We can find this angle. And then those two angles, this one and this one, equal 180. So we're going to find the angle with a star in it um, using law of signs because now we know that angle and we know. Uh, the side, the side. We have the 90 degree angle and the 4.5 that are across from each other. We are going to find that angle with a star in it and the X is across from that. So we're going to use law of signs uh, to do this first. So 4.5 over sine of 90 equals, we'll call it Y. Sorry, we know the side. The side, I didn't set that up right. Oh, yes, I did. 4.5 sine of 90. And that is 3.93. 3.93 over sine of y. So we'll call that y instead of a star. Let me put a y in there. So now we're going to have to use um, inverse sine. So we're going to have to hit second sign when we get to the end here. So we'll keep that in mind. So we're going to get uh, 3.93 times sine of 90 equals 4.5 times sine of y. I'm going to get rid of that 4.5 right now. So I'm going to get sine of y equals, and I'm going to get a number there with a decimal. So 3.93 times sine of 90 over 4.5. So 0 0.873 repeating. So now I have to take my calculator and I have to hit second sign. So I have to do sine inverse of 0.8733. So second sign, I'm gonna grab that decimal. So 60.848, um, whatever, is not the answer, remember. I have to subtract that from 180 to get the angle that it wants. Which is 119.15 to the nearest three significant figures, it's 119. 